हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर कीपिंग फाइन अगेन आई एम बैक विद द एथ लेसन चर्च द प्रॉफिटिक पीपल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ द पीपल आर चोजन टू बी प्रॉफिट्स बिफोर वी बिगिन दिस क्लास लेट अस आस्क द स्पिरिट टू कम अपॉन अस सो दैट वी विल बी एबल टू do well or listen and understand behind the plan of god i request all of you to join your hands and close your eyes and join with me to sing this hymn to the holy spirit move in us precious lord move in us precious lord Move in us precious Lord one more time Move in us precious Lord Move in us precious Lord Move in us precious Lord one more time to fulfill every plan every promise you have made Move in us precious Lord one more time Stay with us precious Lord stay with us precious Lord stay with us precious Lord one more time stay with us precious Lord stay with us precious Lord stay with us precious Lord one more time walk with us precious Lord walk with us precious Lord Walk with us precious Lord one more time Walk with us precious Lord Walk with us precious Lord Walk with us precious Lord one more time to fulfill every promise every promise you have made Walk with us precious Lord one more time Dear children today we are going to learn the prophetic people who are these prophets they are the mouthpiece of god who are they they are mouthpiece of god they speak for the lord to his people today we are going to learn about prophet jeremiah Jeremiah was a powerful prophet in the Old Testament. At his small age, God called him to speak with the people those who have gone astray. Prof when Jeremiah was sleeping, God called him telling that I have formed you before you are born. before you uh, before you are born i knew you and before you were born i consecrated you a prophet to the nation what is that before i formed you in the womb i knew knew you which means in this verse we need to understand before we are put in the womb of mother god already had a plan about us in his set which means we already took birth in the hand of the lord in the mind of god the moment we are before we are born god is consecrating us i mean to jeremiah this is what god is telling in jeremiah chapter 1 verses 4 we see these verses do not be afraid what is that do not be afraid in jeremiah chapter 1 verses 4 we see just now the verses i said that god consecrates us purifies us before we are born before even we formed in the womb of mother then jeremiah is making excuse telling that i am only a child what can i do 
who is going to listen to me lord but god is telling do not be afraid i am with you in our life also dear children something is going to happen when something is fearful is going to happen believe that god is there that's why i like to tell you one story there was a man who had a lot of faith you may be knowing this story yet i want to tell you there was a man who had a lot of faith in god he felt he was walking with the god talking with the god he was all the time enjoying with the god that day it happened while he was walking on the sea shore just he turned and saw there was only two pairs some places there was two pairs of foot friends and some places there was only um, one pair of footprints he was when he looked it that when he was very happy those time there was a two footprints of the two people's footprints were there when he was very sad in difficulty he had all there was he has seen only one uh, one pair of footprints so he felt very angry because in the time of difficulty god forgot him that is what the man was thinking then he asked god i am angry with you he started crying he was started yelling telling that you left me completely when i was in the difficulty then god told him my dear child the fruit prints uh, footprints that you are seeing prints that you are seeing is mine in the difficult time i was just carrying you in my hands so your footprints are not there and when you were happy i was just walking with you and enjoying with you the man realized that was that is true that the footprints that his footprints that which he so is of not his gods so believe and that is why i we sang just now walk with us lord he still he'll be walking in all our difficulties that is why there is an action song like this goes cast your burden and to jesus he cares for you the all your difficulty cast the prophets had difficulties people were killed many were many prophets were killed when they are said sing with me this action song cast your burden and to jesus for he cares for you cast your burden and to jesus for he cares for you higher 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 lift jesus higher lower 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 crush it and lower cast your burden and to jesus for he cares for you cast your burden and to jesus for he cares for you higher 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 lift jesus higher lower 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 crush it and lower when you throw all your difficulties and struggles burden to the lord he will care for us so now we are learning the prophets how prophets are sent god sent israel time to to israel time to time different pro, different prophets to make his israel as his own people we see in the bible there are many prophets like jeremiah isaiah joshua moses abraham noah all these are prophets of old testament amos they are all many are there 
Jonah, Jonah was the prophet, we know. He said, no, I cannot do your work. I cannot go because you are the God who loves the people. The moment I will go and tell, uh, once they repent, you will again change your mind and you will not punish. For that sake, why should I go? That was the question of uh, Prophet Jonah. Yet, if God wished, surely he will make a point to do his work. So there were different people, different purposes who were sent to Israel's to turn back from their sinfulness and walk into the right path. The next, next thing that we are going to learn is the uniqueness of a prophet. What is this uniqueness of a prophet? A prophet in is the one who communicates God's message to his own people. Rightly, I have said first itself, dear children, that they are the mouthpiece of God. They are mouthpiece of God, which means the words that are what God wants to talk, that are put in the mouth of the prophets, that they are given courage and they are called to speak boldly to the people and convey the message of God to his people so that they turn back from their sinfulness and walk in the right path and to tell that God still loves the world. What is that? Why he is time to time he is sending the prophets? It is because to tell that I still love the world. God still loves the world. That is why God's love is so wonderful that we cannot understand what his love for us. A prophet that who communicates, he communicates the message of God to his people. So he is a bridge between, a bridge between his people and God. What God communicates, he communicates to the people. And what people wants from God, that he communicates to God. So he is a bridge between who connects God plus the people. That is a prophet. Their life, they have to sacrifice. That is the uniqueness. They have to face difficulties and struggles. People won't accept the word that they are giving. They are persecuted. They are killed. They are called from an unknown place and they are sent to an unknown people. Yet, only need to believe that God is with them. God is walking with them. So they go with the Lord. They walk in His place. So they are led by the God Spirit. God gives that Spirit. God's Spirit is going with them to communicate what God wants to communicate to His people. They have to face the challenges in the life. They need to be courageous to communicate to the message of the Lord. Sometimes the message of God is very hard. Very harsh for the people to accept it. Yet they need to for they need to communicate that message. And the next point that we are going to learn is the prophetic functioning functions of the members of the church. What is that we are going to learn? The prophetic function of the members of the church. The disciples of Jesus on the day of Pentecost, filled by the Holy Spirit, prophesied and spoke. In the last class, I have spoke that. They were filled with the Holy Spirit. They were able to talk in the languages all over the Judea. In Jerusalem, all people could understand what they are talking in their own language. How it is possible? If God has chosen, God fills with the Spirit. 
He gives them power to work. He gives them spirit, wisdom. All the gifts of the Holy Spirit so that they act prudently. <coughs> they act prudently because the Spirit is with them. That is the Spirit of God. That is the work of God in the people of his people. In the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verses 14 onwards, this is what we are seeing. Till that time they were frightened, they had fear. They had fear on of the people, so they were sitting in a closed room. So, they did not want to go out because they knew they also will be killed. At a time, the moment the Lord filled them with the power of the Spirit, they came very boldly before the people, the people who were against them, they were talking. They were proclaiming the name of Jesus. That is the duty we see. The members of the church who receive the Holy Spirit through baptism according become a prophet. All the members of the church that they become prophet through the baptism. It is a day, it is the duty of every person. It is the duty of every person that we have to, we have to, tell me children, we have to be a prophet. Last time I told you that wherever you are, you need to proclaim. If somebody is doing wrong, you need to tell them this is wrong, it is not the way to do. That whoever is maybe. This is not your mother, father, your family members, anybody, whoever it is, you need to tell like a prophet very boldly. It is the duty of every person who is part of the church. We are called to be a prophet. Not only the sisters and fathers are called to do this work, prophetic work, it is the work of every member in the church. The prophetic people are those who are anointed by the Holy Spirit and led by the Holy Spirit. Without the Spirit, we will have no courage to proclaim His word. We have no courage to boldly to speak or tell to the persons that they are wrong. Only by the Spirit, the Spirit who walks with us, fills us every part of our body. That is why the Holy Spirit should always stay with us. Jesus said that you will not receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. If you, if you are not open to the Holy Spirit, then Holy Spirit cannot come inside. When we are open to the Spirit, the Holy Spirit will come upon us and will be making us witness in Jerusalem. That is what Jesus said to the disciples in the upper room. The, till the Holy Spirit, I said, you wait here. Wait for the Spirit. Thou anxiously, don't be anxious, but wait for the Lord patiently. Wait for the power of the Spirit or wait for the anointing of the Spirit and you will be sent out to every corner of the, every corner of the, every corner of the world to proclaim the word of God. To become witness of Jesus he is the mission of those who receive the Spirit and become prophets in the church. Every person, every person who ever receives the Holy Spirit are called prophets. They can proclaim, they can tell to the people that, they can tell to the people that they are called to proclaim the Lord. They are prophets of the world. That is why it is told, it is told, God's Spirit is in us. So you don't need to worry when you are sent. 
when you are sent to a particular mission when you are selected for a particular mission you don't need to be afraid god will take care every part that is why he said to the disciples when they were going to send out to the um, for the mission he told them don't carry with you anything don't carry <coughs> don't carry anything with you the person one who works is worthy of having a food the place where you go enter that house if they are accepting you the blessings will go to them if they are not accepting you the blessing will come back to you leave the dust in their houses wherever you go don't go from one place to other but you go to the place and stay in the same house and proclaim my name heal the sick it is the given to them responsibility it is the same responsibility is given to you and me that we need to give jesus to the people those who are really suffering you need to give them you need to give them jesus the this world is now need of jesus dear children do you want to be a prophet by giving jesus to your own companions yes we need to be we need to give jesus the world needs jesus now world the world needs jesus word and his sealing the world is completely broken in this pandemic of covid 19 and now a new new names are coming up people are fed up with this life people want just a peace of mind that is why there is a song goes like this the world stands in need of liberation it is our duty to pray for the world i request all of you dear children just keep a moment of silent pray for this broken world broken people broken hearts who needs the touch of the lord the world stands in need of liberation my lord it still has to feel your power the world stands in need of liberation my lord it still has to feel your power the blind and the deaf the dumb and the maimed all need your healing touch my lord the world stands in need of liberation my lord he still has to feel your power yes lord the world is in need of liberation humanity is crying for help but there is no one to help them so you are called you and me is called to be a prophet for them those days god was sending one by one one by one different people as a prophet to his people nowadays very difficult people to respond to his call who ever is part of this church are called to be a prophet and who ever is filled with the holy spirit is a prophet in the baptism we are receiving the same holy spirit in the confirmation we are confirming the spirit that we received so you and me everyone in the church your parents your grandparents whoever it is who are part of this church are called prophets so now i re- i feel that you will be you will be doing you will be doing this work of god no need 
will be giving just itself your friend who is in depression or one who is sad just to tell them god still loves you god still loves you who whatever you may be whichever religion you be belong still god be, god loves you and me god loves the poor god loves the rich but calls us all to share you need only to share this that god still loves he loves the poor he loves the rich he has no difference between anyone that is why he sent his prophets he different people he selected and sent them to the lord to his people next point that we are going to learn is the salt of the earth and light of the world what is that we are going to learn the salt of the earth and light of the world you know what is the value of salt yes when the salt is put in the curries or anything that we eat it gives us if it is put in a right profession there it becomes very tasty if it is a little more we put it then that is we cannot be able to eat that if salt becomes more when this salt is going to have value this salt has a value only when the saltness is there if the saltness is gone from the salt that will be put under the feet of human beings and will be crushed and thrown that has no value so every person is a prophet is called to be the salt of the earth this is the praise of god that he says you need to be a salt of god and you should be a light of the world no person will keep the light under a bush and cover it if that is the way done if that is the way done keeping the light lighting the lamp and putting under a table or covering it with a bowl something will it be useful that light the light is burned light itself is made to show the light in the darkness to show the light in the darkness to light the lamp to lit the lamp you need to lord the light of your love is shining yes his light need to be shine shine jesus shine fill this land with the father's glory bless spirit please set our hearts on fire for live of love flood the nations with grace and mercy send forth your word lord there we light light is meant to shine a prophet is called to be a light to the nations where people are in darkness you need to shine where people are not able to find their way you need to shine and show them the way where people have no life in their life in life you need to become a salt to add that life in their in their lives are we ready to do that dear children we are called to do that part we are called to be the light we need to make a way for the people who need to walk in the way of the lord the next point that we are going to learn is 
the leavening of the kingdom of God. The church is to be like a leavening in the world and witness. Like the prophet who, knowing the will of God, and one who values the values of his kingdom. The prophet who will be knowing the will of God and the values, the value, the values of the kingdom of God. A little leaven can, leaven can leave the entire thing when we put something to for the leavening. It becomes more. A prophet also is like that, like a leaven. The entire thing has to be changed because of the presence of the prophets. Likewise, Christians are leavened and put in the world by Jesus Christ, leavening the entire society. We need to change this entire society, bearing witness to his word just for his love and his kindness. That is why he said we are called to be light of the world. We are called to be light of the world. This is the way we need to be a prophet. It is duty of every Christian is to change the society, which means around them the things need to change. The next point that we are going to learn is bear witness to truth. Bear witness to the truth. Jesus said, I came to this world to testify the truth. What did Jesus say? In John chapter 16, 16 John chapter 18 verses 37, John, Jesus is telling that I came to testify the truth. Who is this truth? Nothing else. Jesus himself is the truth. That's why Jesus is telling, I am the way, I am the life, I am the truth. One who believes in me will have the life. One who walks in my way will have the life. One who speaks my truth will have life. Every prophet, every person is to bear the witness of the truth. The truth is that Jesus is the Lord, is the Savior of the world. There are many who we see in the world who doesn't accept that. Who doesn't accept that what they are. They don't accept what they are. Their own difficulties they don't like accept sometimes. How then will be they accept Jesus? We see in the world now, many RSS people or Hindu people are against us about the truth. We speak the truth that Jesus Christ is alone, is the Lord, the Savior. Only through him there is the Savior. All people are believing in the same God, but naming with the different names. Jesus tells that, live in truth, truth alone. According to that, John the Baptist, when he started proclaiming, when he came to prepare the way, now we are going to celebrate this Christmas on 25th of December. John the Baptist was preparing way for Jesus and he said that, we need to, he raised his voice against the untruth. He spoke for the truth, so he has to give the life. If you speak truth, you will have, you may have to face many problems. Yet, after all that problems, still you and me will have that glory of God. That is why St. Thomas More spoke for the truth and he was martyred. Like that in the Bible, in the Bible, in the church history, we see many people who spoke for the truth or of the truth, they are they are martyred, they are killed. Truth is always bitter. Yes or no? Truth is always bitter. If I say truthfully to you, you are doing wrong, you are not this. 
you are not supposed to be this that if i am telling that way do you like no it makes you sad you feel bad and you may feel angry towards the person one who said the truth but truth can never be hidden one day that truth will come out dear children learn now on was to speak boldly the truth that was the prophets did it they spoke the truth very boldly that's why they had to sacrifice their life a prophetic function of the laity like the priests and the religious all the lay people have a prophetic function not only priests not only sisters have the roles to be a prophets every person who becomes a member of the church have a duty are called to be a prophet god and rassure the church with a mission great mission to proclaim him every lay person is called to be a prophet of jesus every day we read bible just only two words about that what you read to your neighbor more than that we don't need to do anything like telling the truth fighting for the justice all this the prophets were doing <coughs> the lay people also need to have this that is why we are learning today the lay people need to respond to the call to fulfill the plan that god has for you we see many lay people very active in the church they are very active in retreat centers they are very active they in the church they are very active in doing the church work and bringing the different different people to the church very active many 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 we see praying for the church praying for the people praying for the conversion of different people many lay people are doing a better work in the world today it is a challenge for you to be a prophet dear children are you ready to be a prophet it is not so easy job to be a prophet it is very hard work you need very courageous mind and heart that god will give you you need to speak truth you need to become a peace for mouthpiece of god so now today we will pray especially for all the preacher religious and the lay persons who are already doing the prophetic work and praying for those who, who are yet to continue this work praying for each of you and to uh, and for everyone this class is we are going to finish here this seven, eighth lesson a prophetic purple that we need to be salt of the earth and we need to be light of the world so i ask you to join your hands and pray we will pray for each and every one who is member of the church join your hands and remember who played a great role as a prophet in your own life many priests or many lay persons or many sisters have been a prophet in your life putting you in a right path remembering all of them and we will pray for them for a moment thank you and praise you lord for giving us this time to pray for each other especially every person who act as a prophets bless them and fill them with the more and more power of your spirit God spirit is in my heart you set me you set me apart God spirit is in us 
he has set us apart. He sent us to proclaim his good news. He sent me to proclaim the good news for the poor. Tell the blind people that they are blind no more. Yes, dear children, every one of us are called. We are sent to proclaim that they are going to be set free. They are also is loved by the Lord. Praying for everyone. Just let us pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Why did I pray? Hail Mary. She is the greatest prophet. Before the marriage, she has to become Mother of God. With the courage, she faced, faced every problem. So, she, and I, she is an, a great example for every one of us. With this, we have, we have finished the eighth lesson. We see you in the next class. Thank you.